How do you defeat a demon that feeds on fear? With a dagger, perhaps? But if the demon feeds on fear, just a dagger might not be enough. Because if you get scared, and we're talking about scary demons here, it's going to get bigger and meaner and nastier. So maybe you need a magic dagger. One that with a few magical words becomes a sword. Hmm. That will give you a bit more reach to get to that demon. But he's a scary demon. Let me give you the details. I'm talking about my book, Lethal Inheritance. That's the paperback cover. This is the ebook cover here. And these are the other covers in the series, the Diamond Peak series. This demon that we're talking about. Let me just read a description of when my heroine Ariel first sees him. Something black and vaguely human shape struggled out the window, cursing in a voice as spiky as ice shards. Its skin, hanging in folds like the fabric of a long hooded cloak, rippled as it turned. White flames licked like snake tongues from two slits in its hideous face, and a thin-lipped mouth curled into a sneer. The claws on its long, loose arms flexed and unflexed, as if warming up for a fight, and it stunk like rotten potatoes. Ariel froze, eyes wide, struggling co to comprehend the creature before her. Nothing like this existed in her world. It had to be a dream, but it felt horribly real. A chilling voice from down the path raised the hairs on the back of Ariel's neck, and the creature swung towards the sound. The spawns run off, I say. We take this one and come back for the other. The owner of the voice, another creature, came into view, eyes blazing red, and Ariel gasped and slapped her hands over her mouth to muffle the sound. But the beast's attention fixed on Ariel's mother, who hung limply in the red-eyed creature's arms, her hands tied behind her back. Something black and shiny gagged her. Ariel's world began to unravel. This could not be happening, and yet it was. She stared at the impossible creature and one word only penetrated the numbness of her mind. It rose as if from a long-forgotten memory. Demon. So, how do you defeat a demon that gets bigger and nastier and stronger as it feeds on your fear, your anger, your hatred? Well, obviously, you have to learn to do more than just wield a magical sword. You also have to work with what's in your head. And that's what makes my fantasy books different to other fantasy books. Yep, my heroes and heroines have to use the power of their mind as well as their other skills. So who does Ariel have to help her? The mother gets kidnapped by this demon, dragged into a hidden realm that she didn't know existed before. Who helps her when she goes to rescue her mum? Ariel looked up. A young man with golden brown tousled hair leaned casually against a tree and eyed her with amusement. His clothes, back black jeans and a white t-shirt with drop it written on it in faded lettering, made him look harmless. But something about him spelt trouble. Perhaps it was the haunted look in his dark eyes. Now what? Ariel thought, narrowing her eyes. Was this new arrival another twisted guide determined to drag her up some random path? She glanced around, checking for flags and escape routes. No flags, but she could run into the bush if she had to. The man, tall and, Ariel noted appreciatively, athletically built, pushed off the tree with a smile that softened the sharp angles of his square jaw and straight nose. He looked older than her by several years. Twenty-ish, she decided. Hi, I'm Nick, he said in a pleasant voice. Ariel met his gaze and a blast of energy shot from his eyes into hers. It raced into the centre of her chest and exploded, knocking her breathless. She wrenched her eyes from his and staggered backwards. What the hell? She felt as if he'd bludgeoned her with a blunt instrument. What was that? What was what? He sounded completely innocent and his expression, though a little tense, was carefully neutral. But he wouldn't meet her eyes. Had he really not felt anything? 
So that's the romantic interest. And they have an interesting energetic um, relationship. <laughs> so I'm Talia Newland. I wrote the Diamond Peak series and a whole bunch of other books as well. So I suggest you give it a read. In fact, read the whole lot and see whether Ariel ever does make it to the top of Diamond Peak and rescue her mother from the demons. Oh, and see if you can learn how to defeat demons that feed on fear.